Hi everyone! In this video, we're eating lunch at the oldest Japanese grocery store in the USA. Katagiri in Manhattan has provided New Yorkers with Japanese grocery ever since the Katagiri brothers established it in 1907. That's a long time. We actually visited this grocery store last video, but lots and lots of you wanted us to come back and do a proper food tour, and I agree. There are so many food options, so in this video, we're gonna be trying Japanese hot foods at this grocery store. Before going, let's energize with today's video sponsor, Mudwater. I've talked about Mudwater before on this channel. It is a coffee alternative made with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs. It includes ingredients that offer a huge range of benefits, such as improving your mood, focus, physical performance, and your immune system. Their starter kit includes 30 serving tin of mud, a frother, and sample of their vegan coconut creamer. It's gluten-free, plant-based, and the tin is recyclable. My favorite way is to drink it with oat milk and honey in the morning, and then if I need a little caffeine boost, I drink another one between filming content and auditions. You can think of it as your morning coffee, but without the jitters and the midday crash. It does contain one seventh of the caffeine of a cup of coffee, so you can drink mud all day without impacting your sleep. So if you've been looking for a coffee alternative, try mud water today and get 15% off their starter kit when you click the link in my description and use code cup of TJ. Let's get energized. <sighs> Ready for some home cooked Japanese food? Let's go. Folks, we are outside Katagiri. There's a loud bus in front of me, so I'm not even gonna say anything, but let's just go on inside, okay? <laughs> okay, over here is all the sushi rolls. You got some nigiri right here. You also got some sashimi. There's also like rolls rolls. Salmon avocado, how much is this? $8.49. There's also like specialty rolls, like this is a crunchy shrimp tempura. They even have like a dragon roll. Wow, they have everything here. They have these mini chirashi bowls. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, we gotta get one. Guys, this beautiful mini chirashi bowl. Oh my goodness. We got some fresh salmon, taro. We got octopus in here, some taco, yes. We even have some tofu skin. Of course, fresh veggies, just like cucumbers in here. Oh my gosh, it looks so, so good. So I add a little bit of wasabi. I feel like there's even like, is this mackerel? Yeah, I think mackerel is in here as well. Look at this bite. My goodness. Mm, it's so good. It's so, so dang fresh, so soft. I love the little fish eggs adding like a crunch to the whole bite. It is so dang good. And the sushi rice. Fantastic. Mm. Mm. For the price, for the freshness, for the amount of fish you get, this is a thumbs up. Very good. We are ordering the masubis. And last time we tried like the salmon and the eel. So this time we're trying a little bit different. This is a bomb. It has salmon, spicy tuna, kombu seaweed. I also got this one, the grilled mackerel. Apparently, they only have it today. Like it's not something they have every day. So we have to try it. I'm actually going to try a natto rice ball. I've never tried natto before. Apparently the texture, you either love it or you hate it. They also have uh, the rice balls with brown rice, by the way. Thank you. The bomb is just a giant rice ball. I'm super excited for this one. Look how gigantic it is. I think I'm gonna rip it open so you guys can see what's inside. Okay, I'm excited for this. Ooh, here we go. Ta-da! Oh, it smells really good. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be a savage and bite from the middle. Mmm. Mmm. Savory, savory, savory. If you guys love that salty fish taste, this will give you that. I think there's even like some soy sauce or they marinated the tuna a bit with something, but wow, that is so flavorful. <laughs> yeah, I think there is like extra sauce in here. Makes it super savory. So if you love a savory rice ball, then you're gonna really like this one. Pretty good amount of filling, even though this side is just rice, but there was like quite a lot of filling on this side. So the wonderful staff at Katagiri, they were so nice. Two of them recognized me and they were like, I watch your videos. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. My head is already so big and now it's in the atmosphere. <laughs> 
One of them recommended me try the grilled mackerel. Apparently, um, because of the recent prices and everything's going up, they don't have this every day anymore. They used to have it consistently. And so she was like, oh, we have this today. You should try it. So here we go. It looks like there's like a bunch of mackerel pieces in here. I love the shape. I'm gonna take a bite. Ready? Mm. Mackerel is not that salty. It's like a lighter salmon in a way. Like the taste of it tastes more fishy, more oceany, if that makes sense. <laughs> but it does have a light sweetness to it. And it is quite good. It's just very different. Not bad though. They also told me I need to try this. So it's natto. I've been meaning to try it because I see people trying it all the time. Natto is fermented soybean. Usually when I see people eating it, it comes in this like little plastic white container and then they're like mixing the fermented natto to get it all foamy um, it's definitely an interesting consistency i've actually never tried it before here we go she was like you either like it or you don't i don't taste any of the natto yet. oh my gosh guys the soybean on the bottom is kind of you can see how sticky it is already hmm guys the inside oh my gosh look at that it's so stringy. Ah! My hand is all sticky from the stringiness of the natto. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It's not just the natto by itself. It's they added its sauce and some cup in here. So it's quite savory actually. I don't know if I'm tasting the full natto flavor because they mixed it with some sauce. Here, I'm gonna take this bite. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Actually, out of the three rice balls that we tried, I love the um, natto one the best. <laughs> with the savory sauce and like whatever they mix it with, it tastes so good. It's like a savory soy sauce filling and the soybean literally just melts in your mouth. That one was delicious. I really liked it. Wow. Thanks for the recommendation. I really like that one. I love karage chicken. Mm, oh my gosh. And look how big these pieces are. This is gigantic, okay? Even when I was looking at the bento boxes they had, like the croque chicken was just like, it could barely fit into the box because it was so muscular. <laughs> it smells amazing. Mmm, nice and juicy. It's got this like ginger kick. So whatever they marinated um, the chicken with, it's definitely seeping through. I feel like this one is definitely more gingery than a lot of the karages I've tried. Um, I think what I'm missing on this is just a little bit of lemon. Um, but other than that, crispy outside, juicy chicken, everything a good karage should be. So, so, so generous on the size. This is gigantic. I don't need to say anything else, it's good. This is like a cold udon kit right here. Ooh. Cold udon. I am so excited for this. I haven't had cold udon in so long. I really love the one from Marugame udon, the really famous udon spot. But this one looks amazing. They even have an amazing egg there. Okay, I'm gonna pour the sauce on top and then I'm gonna mix it up. It's really cool because at the market, they're constantly restocking. Like I got there at 10 a.m. and from 10 to 11, 11.30, there was fresh food coming out all the time. Really well organized and also everyone is super nice there. So I'm pouring in all of the sauce. Ta oh my gosh, you hear that? Squish, 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 squish. <laughs> Look at this, all mixed in. The noodles instantly soften up, declumped. And look at that. Oh, juicy udon. Yes. Did you guys see that? Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at the egg coating the udon noodles. Mmm. Guys, it's so good. I love the light sauce. I love the fresh, chewy udon. The udon like grips onto the sauce so well. And also the soft boiled egg, the yolk just like coating the noodles, like this little yolky jacket. Mmm, delicious. It's like a very, very light, sweet soy sauce, like barely salty, just nicely coating your noodles. Cold udon, man. So good. Would you guys like a bite? Here you go, a big one. Slurp well. Over here, they have the hot bentos and they have all the classic like teriyaki chicken. They also have the karage fried chicken. Comes with rice, some veggies, some pickly goodies there. And then on the bottom, there's more. So you can see, you actually get a bunch of teriyaki chicken. Like that's a massive amount for $11. You can also get a side of like 
chicken teriyaki. I'm actually going to get this right here, the Japanese style cheese hamburger. I've been craving this. I also been craving this, so let's check it out. Giant piece of hamburger with cheese on it. I mean, life doesn't get any better than this. It really truly really doesn't. <laughs> All right, you guys, look at this giant patty. It's so thick. Holy schmoly. It's like, it's freaking gigantic. Even a hamburger at a regular restaurant could never. They could never. It's like a giant meatball patty. All right, I'm gonna try to cut into this thing. Oh, it's like slicing a meatloaf. Y'all, look, look at this thickness, okay? It's a meatball. Let me taste what sauce this is. Tastes like ketchup mixed in with little bits of curry. It's definitely heavy on the ketchup side. Very, very sweet. All right. Mmm. After that one bite, I'm full. <laughs> That's how much meat that was. So originally, when I was just looking at the patty on the outside, I was like, hmm, this looking kind of dry. It looks like a brick, you know what I mean? But I bit into it and it is quite soft in there and kind of juicy. Yeah, it's not dry at all. Um, the nice sauce coating on the outside, the cheese adds a nice savoriness. I'm not kidding when I say I had that one piece right here, just a little piece, and I've re I'm already starting to feel full. Like imagine how much food this is. You gotta share this. I'm never gonna get over how big this <laughs> hamburger is. Eel rice bowl. I have a current obsession with eel right now. Like when I order sushi, I have to have eel on top of my sushi or something. But I used to never crave it like this, but I think it's like the eel sauce and just the texture of it, it's so soft. Some people don't like eel because of the little bones in it, but I'm looking at these pieces and it's not bad. And honestly for, what was it, like $13, I think, you get so much eel. Look at that. That looks so good and it's like coated and all this sauce. Also, a little like yolky egg on the side. Mm. Sushi chef kiss. Look at this bite, y'all. Saucy, ricey. This hits. <laughs> I am so shocked at how much yolk they put in this bowl. They are not shy about packing your rice bowls and your bento boxes to the rim. Seriously, there's so much meat. I appreciate all the quality. I appreciate the taste. This is so dang good. I love the like sticky unagi sauce. It's like a teriyaki sauce. It's sweet. It's so good and it just coats the eel so nicely. Mmm, this is delicious. I feel like this grocery store is like the Mary Poppins bag. Like there's so much packed into this store. So when you walk in, there's like the Masubi store right there. And then you walk in a little bit more and then on the right is a ramen shop. And then you walk all the way back and then it's like an area for fresh sushi. There's so much. They're using every inch of the space. So you can order ramen there. You just go to the cashier, you order there and then you give them a receipt. And I got the tonkatsu ramen. I'm really excited. It smells so good. Here we go. Wow, the soup is so good. Noodles, nice and chewy. This tonkatsu broth, it's so good. Savory, creamy, the layer of tonkatsu broth kind of like sits on your tongue. It's very flavorful, but at the same time, it's still quite light. The noodles look okay. The noodles is not bad. Like I'm not gonna say it's like, oh my God, amazing, but it's got a nice chew. The meat, here we go, we'll try the pork. Mm-hmm, not bad. Overall, it's not bad. I don't think you compare this to like ramen at a sit-down ramen restaurant, but it's pretty dang good for a grocery store ramen. The broth is so good. The pork is okay, it's tender. That egg though, freaking amazing. I don't know if I would like go back again for the ramen, but it's nice that it's just there. Guys, they have these little like jelly packs and they look so good. <laughs> I think I have to get one. This is a peach one. I think it's like a little konjac in there, right? I'm not sure, I can't, cannot read anything, but let's get one. They have this whole dessert section and there's like a ton of different kinds of mochi. What's this? This is like a cream puff. Oh my gosh, you look so good. And they have all these different roll cakes right here. And then look at all the mochi they have. 
Oh my gosh. I'm gonna pick some stuff from here. I'm gonna try it. All right guys, it's time for dessert. <coughs> so before I left, they were really trying to sell these um, little jelly drinks. So I was like, okay, I'm sold. <laughs> you don't need to convince me that much. I, I would have grabbed it anyways. I think they are like little konjac drinks, like little jelly konjac drinks, but I could be wrong. Um, but it does say like 37 calories, supposed to be like really low calorie, like a dessert thing. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so inside, it's just like a block of jelly, um, but when you squeeze it through the top, there's a straw there, it turns into like little chunks of jelly. There's like a peach juice with it, so it's like a sweet peach juice jelly drink. And it's only what? It's only 37 calories. Why? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I think this is a perfect amount because if it was even any bigger, it would be too sweet. But this is just as yummy. That was a little appetizer to the dessert. The dessert section at this store is awesome because they were like restocking more mochi on mochi. I don't think they're like making it fresh, but it's good to know that they're literally restocking all the time. So I got one. Um, I wanted to get this one because it was packaged and it was mysterious. And I just love a little mystery in my life. So I opened it up and I had no idea what flavor it was, but it looks like a red bean one. I don't know if there's gonna be filling inside. Let's go ahead and bite into it. But look how fresh that is and soft. Ooh, the powder is like coming off. Mmm. Ooh, my bean. Mmm, what that? Fresh red bean mochi. Delicious. The red bean paste, not too sweet, just how I like it. Got a, like a nice grainy texture to it. The mochi is fresh and soft. All of it together, very, very good. Look at these like red bean tucked in the mochi. They're gigantic. So good. Mm. It's so funny because a lot of the mochi, I can't really tell what flavor it is. So I'm kind of just like, mm, this one looks good. <laughs> it's good. This is very good. Dango. Yeah. They're like little flower mochi on a stick. I think this one is matcha. Um, with peanut powder. Looks so cute. Comes with four sticks like this. It's nice and coated. There are a lot of different flavors. There was one where it was like lightly toasted, and then there's another one that was like matcha, just matcha. Mm -hmm. Wow. The texture on this is so good. It's like even softer than a mochi. How is that possible? It's so good. These dongo the ingredients, really simple. Rice flour, sugar, mugwort, soybean flour, other just like little things there. Not too much, but it is so soft. I was so shocked at the texture because it tasted incredibly fresh as if they were like molding it in the back, but really, really soft, really, really good. A very light green tea flavor and a nice little nutty powder around it. It's very good. Mm. Last, but certainly not least, the strawberry cake. There are so many cakes there, it was very hard to decide. At one point I was like, should I get this one, this one? And I was just standing there like, kind of just like frozen. But I decided to go with the strawberry cake. I've been really digging strawberry flavor stuff recently. Strawberry mochi, strawberry popsicle. All right guys, so when I was filming the B-rolls for this and I opened this up, the strawberry smell just like, <laughs> smelled so delicious. And even just picking it up now, it is so incredibly soft. And look at that nice strawberry cream inside. I feel like I'm holding onto a cloud. Here we go. Wow. It tastes like a strawberry dream. Oh my God. Why is this so good? <laughs> the strawberry cream here, it is so light. It's so dreamy. It's not too sweet. And the cake is so soft. It's like the softest sponge cake I've ever, ever tasted. This is uh, magical. <laughs> there were only like two or three left of these, so now I see why. I think they had another flavor where it was just like not strawberry, just regular cream. Oh, wow, this is so good. The perfect dessert to end this video. Yeah. And that was eating lunch at a Japanese grocery store, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Hard day's work, huh? Thank you very much, thank you very much. Katagiri has so much food in there. What a wonderful little grocery store. Actually, 
when I went inside, it, it seems little, but it's not so little. There's just so many different pockets of stuff and they really fill up every single corner. It's wall to wall full of food. If you guys are in Manhattan, definitely check it out. It is so worth it. It's also so clean and organized and the staff there are super sweet. And everything that we've tried has been so good. It's like home cooked Japanese food. Oh, I'm not Japanese, but I feel the love in the food. That's when you know. Now it's part of the video where I turn it back to you and ask, which of the items that we tried today would you love to try? There are so much hot food goodies there. At one point, I really wanted to pick up one of the ramen cups, but I was like, oh, that's too much food. Next time we gotta go to a Mitsua, it's like a larger Japanese grocery chain, and then we can do like a frozen food haul. How's that sound? Yeah, that would be so fun. Okay, everything was so good today. I feel extremely spoiled. <laughs> There's not a karagiri where everyone lives, but hopefully you guys have some sort of Japanese grocery store that you can stop by. They usually have a bunch of hot food, so definitely check it out, grab and go. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave with a thumbs up and a cute little comment below, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Do you want to say bye to the cats? Mochi? To the window. To the wall. To the wall. To the foot drop down lamp.